but we do have everything you need. Well, now you're alive. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rush. Whoa there. up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most readers back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Come on! Yeah. the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. I tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Go! Gideon! Uh, listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come on!
come for you. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? <laughs> oh. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Hey, ¿qué tal? Hello. about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle.
here's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Yeah! Let's go. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Come on, boy. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Come on. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Yeah. No complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. <laughs> 